so this is the set 5 of the important mcq questions and answer series on digital image processing as from the last four series you have got this that these questions are very very important for the examinations like ugc and tnet phd entrance examinations isro scientist post and different other competitive examinations of this level so myself dr dibas dibora i hope you already know that and if you are new to this channel do subscribe it and share with your friends okay so you already know the rule after every question i'll pause for a few seconds within which you will try to attempt it and when the questions are covered you will post the score you have obtained and at the last of the video i will ask one question that i have already discussed in the last lecture so do attempt it okay so let's start today's session question number 31 this is the first question which of the following compression the algorithms is used to generate a png file i know you all know about this this png file okay so option a lz78 option b the flat option c lzw and option d huffman and this question is being asked was being asked in isro 2015 examination so your time started now so i hope you had got the answer so answer to this question is option b that is the flat and i want to tell you guys that i have separate lecture series on digital image processing theory portion which you will find in the description box below and also you want to have some practical experience in digital image processing using opencv i have a separate lecture series on that also so go and check them in the description box so answer to this question is option b that is the flat png uses a non-patented loseless data compression method known as the flat so one another question may come that what type of compression techniques depletion deflet is that is what lossless okay so in computing you should note down this is very important deflet is a lossless data compression file format that uses a combination of lzss and huffman coding this huffman coding uh, we have already discussed in my lecture series so go and check them and it is very important please note it down okay so next question next question is mpeg involves both spatial compression and temporal compression the spatial compression is similar to the peg and temporal compression removes fill in the blank frames option a temporal option b voice option c spatial and option d redundant this question is being asked in UCNet 2013 September examination. So your time started now. And answer to the question is option D that is redundant. Okay. So MPZ involves both spatial compression and temporal compression. And this spatial compression is similar to that of the PEG and the temporal compression is used to remove the redundant frames let's try to know about this both spatial compression and temporal compression so spatial compression is what it reduces digital video file sizes by compressing the pixels within each frame independently and that's why it is also known as intra frame method note it down okay spatial compression is also known as intra frame method then temporal compression is a technique of reducing the compressed video size by not encoding each frame as a complete image so the frames that are encoded completely they will be known as key frames and all other frames in the video are represented by data 
specifying the scenes in, in the last frame. So this is about spatial and temporal compression. Next question, which of the following is or are fundamental methods of anti-aliasing? Okay, so anti-aliasing is a very important technique that you should know. Now here options, first one says that increase of sample rate, second says that treating a pixel as a finite area rather than as a point and third says that decreases of sample rate. So option A says both 1 and 2 correct, option B says 2 and 3 are correct, option C says 1 only and D says 2 only. It's also being asked in UC NET September 2013 examination paper 3. So let's attempt this question. And answer to this question is option A that is 1 and 2. So the Fundamental methods of anti-aliasing is increase of the sample rate and treating a pixel as a finite area rather than as a point. Now, in computer graphics, the process by which smooth curves and other lines become jagged because the resolution of the graphics device or file is not high enough to represent a smooth curve is known as aliasing. And one solution is increase the sample rate so that aliasing effect is reduced. And second is treat every pixel as a finite area rather than as a point. Clear? I hope this answer is being clear to you. So next question. Which of the following is not the source of image? Caustic, mechatronic, ultrasonic, electronic. Very straightforward question. So, without wasting your time, attempt that question. Attempt this question. Your answer would be, yeah, that is B. Okay. So, Megatronic is not the source of image. Then, question number 35 asks, which of the following color is having the largest frequency in visible spectrum? Okay. Option A, violet. Option B, blue. Option C, is green. Option D, red. This is a very important question. I think everyone in this field of image processing should know. So what is the answer? The largest frequency in visible spectrum. So answer will be, yeah, you are right. That is violet. So violet has the largest frequency in visible spectrum. Okay, so violet color has the largest frequency. So next question. For which purpose we use image subtraction? First option, color enhancement. Option B says spatial enhancement. Option C says detection. Option D says frequency enhancement. Well, you, I hope you know about image addition, image subtraction um, that I have thoroughly discussed in my lecture series. If you want to know more, then go through it, them. Okay, so you'll find them in the playlist of image processing digital image processing so attempt this question and we know that we use image subtraction for what detection okay answer will be c so image subtraction or pixel subtraction is a process whereby the digital numeric value of one pixel or whole image is subtracted from another image and this is primarily done for one of the two reasons. First, leveling uneven sections of an image such as half an image having a shadow on it or detecting changes between two images. Okay, so detecting changes between two images is one, one of the motive of doing this image subtraction. So that's straightforward answer of our question. Well, so if you have any doubt, then do use this comment section. This is often for you. Ask me wherever you find some doubt. And if you want to discuss or if you want to frame a particular lecture on a particular topic of image processing, okay, do comment me. Next, of the following, fill in the blank has the maximum frequency. Option A, ultraviolet rays. Option B, gamma rays. 
Option C, microwaves. Option D, radio waves. Time started now. And answer to this question is, of course, B, that is gamma rays. So, gamma rays comes first in the electromagnetic spectrum sorted in the decreasing order of the frequency. So, it has the maximum frequency. Gamma rays.